I'm riding with the guru today. You got everything you need? I got this one thing here. That's He's been finding so many rings, I figured I better go with him. Maybe I'll find one. Oh, look at this. 20 ounces. <laughs> I got that Sunday. <laughs> We're headed someplace. Now I gotta get my shirt. I'm gonna show you at the end of this video. I'm gonna show you a nice ring he found yesterday for yesterday. 14k major ice, unbelievable ticket. Got like a carrot diamond, three or four or five on each side, six. I didn't count them. You'll see a picture of it. Stand by a minute. Hi, carnivore. What you doing? Somebody wanted to know how Catman Do was doing. I give you King Catman Do on his throne. See? He's a nice kitty cat. Look at him. If I get too close to watch him. He's being friendly today. He's a big old kitty cat. Yeah, big old kitty cat. He usually sits right there and looks out the window. I see you, big old kitty cat. He is big. You don't realize how big he is. He is a big kitty cat. Thing you got in New York Look at that. <laughs> We're headed to the cave, but we decided to stop for an investigation. We're going to check them two holes out. See what this storm did to those holes. Guru told me he went hunting yesterday at Thimble Beach and he got on a place of sinkers. In one hole he dug 48 sinkers. He ended up with almost 10 pounds of lead yesterday. That's a lot of lead to tote around. Yeah, because I parked down by... by uh, uh, 48 sinkers in one hole. That's a, that's a record. I never heard of no action like that before. Well, the tide's good and low. We got some nice, nice cuts and nice slews, Kenny. I don't see I don't see any well you see where that washout is right there, where yeah. that girl is. I don't see any holes. The holes would be just past her. If there were any holes. I don't see any sign of the holes. Is that somebody working up young? No, somebody's just walking. No, way up. Well way up. Oh, I don't know, but it's probably a Filipino throwing a gas net. We don't have our detectors, we'll if we left them in a the truck. We're just it's a scouting. Look at that spot right at us. There's two or three spots like that all the way down there. See them? Yeah. I see the beach sweeper down there. He's getting the grass up. It ain't even low tide yet, though. You got another two hours. I know it. That water's a little bit rough with no wind. It is. It's rough than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I, I didn't think it was. That's my metal detector down there. Well, can't tell from here, buddy. It's too far. We ain't got that good eyes. We ain't want to try this for about a half hour, 40 minutes. It won't hurt us any. Guru just walks on the beach, turns the machine on, and finds 25 cent right there. big washed up. No telling what this is. What you can see is big. I'm walking down it now. I don't know how far we're going to get, but there's plenty of targets right here. I don't know if we'll be able to carry them off the beach. We got the first low tone.
one of my favorite little paint tubes or some kind of tube. You find a lot of these around here. Cement. Plastic cement. We got a little baby ripple slough here, but it's full of it's full of stuff, full of rocks, bricks, targets everywhere. We haven't got to that cut thing up there yet, but that's where we're headed. I do see the other hole coming up. You can see it right there, where that little ripple is right there. So I know there's a hole right there. This is a nice little slough right here. Here's some of the commercial boats working, gill net boats. But look at this big ripple slough. Tenny's dug two targets out of it already. I got the Excalibur today. Look at the iron. Oh, we got a ticket. I'm in a target, stand by. Sounds pretty good. Looks like a piece of junk to me, though. Stand by. This is like lead. A piece of iron, however. Got something in it. Stand by. No clue what it is, though. Well, here's the first hole. This is about as big as it starts by right here. Runs right there, maybe 50 foot. But right up from it is a big cut. Right where Kenny is now. It's about not quite knee deep. Got a man from space. A surveyor. That's a fancy apparatus. Pretty sure that's a wheat penny. So far, that's the best of it. I mean, we got plenty of targets. Matter of fact, we're getting ready to leave them and go to Greenies. I mean, to the cave. If there's this many targets here, God knows what's there. Stand by, we're on our way. Guru got a spark plug, some bullets, some sinkers. He got four sinkers. I think I got three. Yeah, about 50 cents, 40 cents. 
I got you on a little bit, but not much. Just uh, a piece of gold there. Headed to the cave. Headed to the cave. We're no fresh now at the cave. We're pulling up. There's my spoons and all my taquitos. Let's we'll see how it goes. Well, here we go. We know the steps are covered up. There's no steps whatsoever, nowhere. They've been covered up for a week. Now some of y'all may think that's a bad thing, but you gotta think about it like this. Here's where the steps would be right here. There's a, well, I'll take it back. There's a top core of one. Now when you see a lot of steps, that means the sand's been pulled off this way. But when you don't see any sand, that means the sand has come from out here and it's moved up here. Which I think is a better thing. That means that somewhere out here there's a hole where that sand came from. Or a lot of sand has been moved out this way. We're going uh, in now. Stand by. The cave of Edmond Dantes. Ain't quite pecker deep. Close. Grass on this beach. That's right, grass. First target's a nickel, a new one. I got a button of some sort. But I think it's got a, I think it's a modern button. It's got some kind of weird thing on the back of it. It's like a Levi. You know, it looked like a button, but it's something might be off a of Levi. Iron in the water today, look at it. Iron. And mercury. Yeah, mercury. I can't see the face, but I can see the emblem on the back. Ooh, mercury dime. I like them. One cent, it says. I believe it was a I believe it was an Indian head penny. See this little thing on top of it? It is an Indian head. You can see his flowers there. His I mean his uh, not flowers, what do you call them? Feathers. Indian head penny, I like it. Three feet away I got a buffalo. What is it? Some sort of cookie coin. Look, like a penny of some sort. We'll wait till we get home to clean it up. We know it's a penny. I like to think of another Indian head, but I can't tell you that right now. I doubt that it is. Looks like Lincoln's face to me.
Huh? With the guru, you don't never know where you're going to go. Huh? That's my second spin. I thought we were going home. The guru said, no, God damn it, we're going someplace else. Stand by. See somebody spinning down here with an ace. Ace man. Park closes at sunset. The way we're going, sunrise. Got no digger. Waves is big. Tide's coming in now. I got a heck of a what's it that. Look, look at the size of that what's it. Sounds pretty cool too. Stand by. Another buffalo. One spin, two spins, three spins. I'll get them all separated in a little while. I got to feed Catman Dude before it gets dark. Play ball with Jack. Stand by. I got a shout out to uh, Nikki PC1. She made a comment about what's up with Catman Dude? Is he dead or what? And I took a video of Catman Dude this morning when I first started the video. Now I'm going to take you up and uh, see Catman Dude. Have his evening dinner. Watch him perform. That is if he don't bite my leg off. That's one carnivore who's mad because I'm feeding Cat Mandu first. Cat Mandu gets some kind of fancy wet food called uh, Halo Spots Stew. Cat Mandu. And then he gets Halo. Spot stew chicken. Dry. Katmandu eats well. Well, let's we'll see what kind of mood Katmandu's in. Oh, you hungry tonight, huh? Little Katmandu? Are you hungry? You speak old okay, key cat? Watch him. He smells my feet. Then he spins all around. Watch him. Come on. He's a big old okay, key cat. He's almost as friendly as he can be when you when you feed him. Come on. He's all right being friendly tonight. Just give me that damn food. You turkey you. Drop it down here. Spin number one. Nothing special, just a lot of targets. We left them biting here. 22s, spoons, keys, gray matter, screws, baby conch shell. That's pretty cool. Now this don't look like much. Looks like a piece of jagged old metal, which it is. But right there is a brass plug. Square. Solid brass plug. Spin number two is over here. Purple. Blue glass. Fair amount of coins. Nails. A lot of nails. Bullet. I've got a brass doodad thing. 
No bullets. I don't know what this is. Appears to be brass or copper. Brass, I'm thinking. Some hook and knacky thing. Then we're getting over here to spin number three at the cave of Edmond. This is, no, I'll take it back. This is the cave over here. This is where most of the coins came from. All the old coins except for the one buffalo came from over here at the cave. I mean the crane. This is all cave stuff. You can see we got some cool glass. Then we move over here to the third spin where the crane was, where the backhoe is now. Uh, nothing special there. I got one buffalo there. Gray matter. This is a gray matter. This is lead. Big chunks of lead. I think this broke off when I was digging it up because I had to dig twice to get it out. That looks like a cool bottle top of some sort. Rounded. Had to have a cork in it, you know, that kind. This I'm going to, what's it, I'm going to crack it tomorrow. I don't know what it is, but it looks sort of interesting. I don't know why I didn't crack it today. I guess I forgot about it. But you can see there's something inside all that iron. This was in a big chunk of iron. I think you'll see the picture of that in the video. Okay, where were we? It's one, two, and three. All right, here's the best of it. This buffalo came from the cave. The Indian head came from the cave. This buffalo came from the crane. The mercury came from the cave. And the wheat, wheat scent came from the cave. The cave was, and we got there, it was the best of it. But there was plenty of targets at the other, at the two holes where we, you know, hunted it several times in the past. But that ain't bad. I, I've got, I like it. Neither one of us got any kind of rings or any kind of, well, I, I did get some kind of bling earring which you'll see a picture of. That's the only kind of jewelry that we, any of us found. But we didn't have lacking of any kind of thing to dig. Okay, see you tomorrow. Maybe the same spot. We'll have to see how that goes. Good luck to you. See you later.